go take care of business. Bidness. With the King's Barrow. Oh, it's raining. Nice. Agua is always good. But we'll do the usual runaround of the Emerald Coast. We'll check the areas. Make sure there ain't nothing here. Sham hat witches, bubble slimes. Ooh. Grublins. Blast flippantly. Ow, how dare you. How dare you again? The sequel. How dare you times three? Oh, that didn't kill it. Aha, now you die. Who else wants some? <laughs> Another level up. Learn Sizz, there we go. Now we can deal with hordes of enemies easier. At least as long as they're the same type of enemy. It doesn't work if it's on different enemies, which gives boomerangs that small advantage. They attack all enemies. But, you know. It's not that big of a deal. Antidotal herb. Move around here. <sighs> Nothing. <clears throat> All right, let's run around. Nothing up there. Oh, stuck behind a tree. Aha, and here's something stuck behind a tree. Just for us. Another antidotal herb. If we keep going up, we'll go back to the road to Heliodor that we were at before. So this is a good spot to turn around. Leafy Lampling. I believe I saw a chest around here somewhere. Maybe an item glowing too. We will see. God, Dragon Quest VIII's Overture. Or not Overture, it's... Overworld music is always just so nice. Aha, here we go. And I found you, treasure chest. Hardy hide. Go. Ooh, it's a it's a moo moo. It's a cow. See what kind of weather we can look forward to. Looks like the sky should start to clear here at night. It'd be perfect weather for adventuring. So grab the bull by the horns and get out there. What a peculiar cow. Seems our bovine friends know a thing or two about what to expect otherwise. Yep, they sure do. Let's carry on our way. Man, look at those clouds moving. Oh, hey, it did stop raining. Huh. Cool. Oh, I didn't realize it shows the... Okay, that's neat. What we have around here? Not much of anything, I don't think. It's kind of just like a big open sort of area. It's just a lot of monsters. I can't jump up there. Lame. Looks so good. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to get up there. Darn. More grublins. Ooh! Exoskeletons. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. See? Exoskeleton. Oh. How dare you counterattack? Oh, I don't want that, but you know what? Dang, Eric, you're taking a hit. Don't worry, he should level up, so he should get healed soon. Oh, yep, yeah. there we go. And now I'm not using my uh, skill points right away. I usually like to let them build up, so that way there's like a decent backlog of skill points, and that way I can just, I don't have to go into the menu as often. And I can just deal with the skill points as I need to. And, and get a whole bunch at once. No. Helps out. It's just easier management. Helps things move a bit smoother. There we go. Oh, it defends. Well, defend this. 
Oh, the hat broke off. We have a crabid. And some leafy lamplings. Perfect. Gotta, gotta love them. Will Sizz do anything against them? Not incredibly effective, but you know what? It is multi-damage on enemies, so we, we take that. Ooh, we missed. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, boy. So, Krabbit dies. Leafy Lampling begins to die. Ow. That single damage hurts. Nice. 51. We got a campsite here in case we need it. But we have some trees to look at. I think there's an item over here. Nope. Oh, hey, it's Erdwin's Lantern. Or is it Lantern? No, it's Star. I thought it was Lantern. Can't remember. I want to say it's... It's the Star. Or the Lantern. It's one of the two. Alright, this looks like prime time for somewhere to hide something. Oh, there's an item down there. See if we can get a, a look over of it where everything's at. Nice. So, it's gotta be a treasury chest or something up here. Why would they let us go up here if there was no treasury chest or anything? Hmm. Guess not. Oh well. Ooh, look at me go. I schmoobin'. So we have lots of crabbits. Ooh, calamari kid. Ow, that hurt. Your miss hurt. Boom. Sun bleached seashell. Nice. How are we looking? Uh, okay, yeah, so we got the three areas here we haven't gotten to yet. Okay. Yeah. What about enemies? Uh, we're just missing one, and I honestly don't know what that one would be. We got the Grublins, we got that. Maybe something happens if you kill them off enough, uh, Calamari kids? Oh, they dance with each other. That's nice. So there might be something over here. Oh, there. We don't get many two visitors around these parts. You kind of see the king's bear eye wager. I thought as much. No point dragging your hide all the way out here otherwise. Well, you'll find off to the west there. Can't miss it. All right. Thank you, sir. Do you have anything for us in your uh, little humble abode? You have 13 gold coins for us. You know what? We're stingy. We take it. So, who are we, who are we fought? Sham, Bubble Slime, Leaf Lampling, Gloomy, Heal Slime, Exoskeleton, Calamari Kid, Crabbit. Yeah, I don't know what that last monster is. Maybe it's something that appears... In, no, I don't think the monsters change depending on daytime. I don't know what it could be. Hmm. Oh well. Take this. Let's do a little bit of level grinding real quick. Nice. Awesome. Both leveled up, and we received a new pet power called Scorched Earth. Nah. All right. Let's go over to this campsite over here real quick, and then freshen up. Where is it? Oh, it's right in front of me. Duh. Let us rest for a little bit. And we can go to the forge. And it levels up along with us. Maximum focus or double edge. Double edge bash is a strong simultaneous strike over two squares, one above the other. Nothing really 
to forge right now. I mean, we could try forging the... Making the sword better, so eh, give it a try. We'll rework. We're on sword. Sure. And there we go. We now have a plus three bronze sword. Excellent. We now do more damage. A lot more damage. Now we have a level up and an added bonus to our sword. So, quite excellent, actually. I'm going to talk to Eric while he's down How's here. How's it going? So we got the keystone. We need to open the door of departure. But before we go any further, I've got a little business of my own to wrap up. Dirk said the orb is over to the east in the King's Barrow. I need to get it back. Alright, buddy. Now we have a shopkeeper. What do you have for me? Divine. See, we, we could have bought this. But instead, <laughs> we crafted it. A Templar uniform? That actually is pretty decent, it looks like. Um, do I want to buy him that? Nah, he'll be fine. Eric can make it. So we'll have a little rest until dawn. Alright, we'll save. And now we will go and take on the King's Barrow. Let us move onward to see what this little dungeon has for us. So long, horse. Here we are, King's Barrow. Come on over here into this tent. We'll have some jars to open. And I don't think, oh, a single file. That increases MP. I don't think we'll have anything behind. Nope. Cool. So up we go then. And here we go. What the heck happened here? Who did this to them? Alright, so we have some uh, people who are knocked out. Oh wait, no, it's just a corpse. Never mind. Oh, these people are dead. Oh. They dead. Alright, so I can guess that means then we, uh, we must investigate. Bats. How dare you. It was the bats that did it, wasn't it? Damn bats. Oh, we have monsters here. Oh, little tricky devils. Yo, slimes. Hello. And up. And that should lead us. I have an item over here, I think. No, other side. That's where it's at. <clears throat> That's, yep, a little sparkly bit. Oh, I gotta fight the little tricky devil? That's right, I haven't fought it technically before. That was a boss fight. So I actually have to fight it. Mm. Most unfortunate. Oh well. Cool. So now we did the little devils. And now we have, god, one more enemy in here. That is just terrible. It's awful. They're a pain. I hate them so much. They are not fun to fight. It is not over here. Smog, no. Smaug. Up. Uh, item over here. I believe it's a chest. Yep. Open. Says me. Strength ring. Oh, we're gonna equip that bad boy. On to... Do we not need charm? It increases defense. Eh, by one. Then we get more attacks. So you know what? <laughs> that's, that's good enough for me. 
Can you wear her charm? You can't. Ooh. Spooky. I don't think there's anything else up here. Nothing noteworthy, anyway. Except for these little pyramids, but... Like I said, noteworthy. Oh, I'm here. Yep. These little mecha minas. They're pretty bad. Fire may do some pretty good damage to them, but I'm not certain. Oh, okay, they do. Because they're made of metal, so normal attacks don't normally do much. But you know what? Wait, excuse you? Oh, it pushed the Mecha Mina and slid. Oh, wait, there's an item over there, crud. Got to navigate the smogs. Oh, see? And that's why you don't buy the Templar's uniform. You find one immediately after. Let's see if we can get past the... Oh, crud. Cool. Let's get out of here. Or not get out of here. Go to the boss. Bosses. Boss. Boss eye. I don't know. Nope. Sorry, Mecha Minas. No time for you. No time for you, little devil. Here we go. Do spa monsters sparkling away when you're out and about? That means you'll be able to ride it or or its mount if you can manage to defeat it. This will enable you to access areas you otherwise could not get to. And will also enable you to use unique abilities. Why not go and give that shiny exoskeleton a good hiding? Who knows where it might be able to take you. I have a fairly decent idea, but we'll do it anyway. Go into combat. All right, so we enter the exoskeleton and we jump high into the sky. Seat of defense, nice. Up here we go. Recipe book, put a feather in your cap. Learn how to make feather caps. What we got here? Two files of magic water. All right, so what we're gonna do is, all right, we've got those little hats made. So now we got Feather Cap plus two for myself and one for old Eric. Now that we're all healed up and ready to go. Got some new armor. Let's go fight the boss. What do you think you're doing? That orb belongs to us. Get your filthy hands off it. <laughs> Whoever you are, you've just made a seriously big mistake. All right, ready? We're going to use some sizz. Hit them with the rubble rouser. Rubble rouser. Hit him with another rubble rouser. Hit him with another sizz. Oof, okay. So hit him with uh a bit of that. And with a heal. Uh. Nope. Don't want to use Scorched Earth because they've got Rubble Rouser on them. Oh, wait. Would that do double the damage or get rid of it? I don't know. Flame Slash. Oof, okay. Heal time. Dissimilar. 
11. You says on him. Can use Scorched Earth. Yeah, they're about to die anyway, so whatever. And we'll hit him with a Flame Slash. Finish him off, Eric. Yeah, that's how you do it. Another one bites the Decent uh, difficulty. But who the hell were they? And what did they want with the orb? Well, whatever. It's back with its rightful owner now. And about time, too. You know, after they threw me in jail, I thought I'd never see this thing again. But here I am holding it. You're some kind of lucky charm, you know that? I got a feeling that if I stick with you, everything will turn out okay. I, however, am not magically delicious. Just don't ask me what I mean by everything. That's my business. Right, I've done what I came to do. Guess we should head east and check out that door of departure place your grandpa mentioned. You know something that I actually forgot to do? <laughs> I went to uh, go to my character builder, and we have 12 points we could have used, and made ourselves a bit more busted in that fight. Hmm. Oh, I can't even get to Sword Mastery yet, so. What about Luminary? Zap's pretty good. Zap's really nice. I like the increased pep chance, though, as well. We'll go with that. And then we can get critical hit, and we'll get this one. Yeah. And then for old Eric, we'll get him some. Knives. Where is it? Oh, okay, I know which one I need, okay. So let's get... I want that one. I actually want that one instead, so we'll get this. And then we can get you. Excellent. And then after that, we'll probably go for... Yeah, that one is next on our agenda to get. And then we will be really gross. So let's get out of here ASAP. <sighs> We're out. And I think we can use, I don't wanna walk all the way there. So we'll just use a good old-fashioned Chimera Wing. And use it over to... Yeah, that's a good spot right there. We don't have zoom yet, so... We do make do with what we can. Now we'll rest up real fast. Right, and we'll make our way... Actually, do I have... Nope, I don't know what that other monster is. Oh, well. Oh, items reset. I'm not gonna go for all of them. Don't worry. We're just getting through real quick. Moving on. Now we'll just head to the door to departure and get the hell out of Dodge. Some, oh, you know, it's probably these things. 
condors. That's fine. There's the door of departure, looks like. Let's go, Eric. We're almost there. What is that? Oh, horses. Does not look good. Recognize the armor. Recognize that hair and that horse. And that square jaw. Did you really think you would escape me, Dark Spawn? Stop calling me that. Damn it. They found us. Well, don't just stand there. Come on. Ah, some random horses. Perfect. Already saddled and everything. Run, run, run. No, oh, come on, really? Shot the horse. What's the matter with you? Epic slow mo when he grabbed the hand, but ooh. Quickly, the keystone. That's right, the keystone. I use E. You shall not escape me, Dark Spawn. You have won. The game has not even begun. Wanna track our scent with it? Oh. Whew. We made it. That was too close. So, uh, where exactly are we? I don't recognize this place at all. You shall not escape me. A word for evading the capture by the dauntless Sir Hendrick. The Hotto Step. Well. Everyone, I think that is going to be all for this session. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for enjoying this series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, write a comment, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.